just uh, taking a little flashback into this. This is from all the way in 1991. Um, something that you could find easily on the shelves back in the day. But if you take a little open on this, I'm not too sure if these are the original components to it, but it's just something that has been saved over time. We have a thermos featuring Raphael and a little cup that matches that. So, you know, pretty, pretty neat, a little nostalgic here, guys. Um, but right now I want to talk to us a little bit about our wonderful Ninja Turtles 2. All right, guys, y'all couldn't guess, but as Squally just pointed out, he knows a lot about Ninja Turtles. You may not know all the characters' names, like Casey Jones, but you guys are pretty close there. You were, you were getting there, just a lunchbox. So let's begin with our reigning champion. Two in a row now. He's got two of those golden boxes. Hey, Miner Niner, tell us about Ninja Turtles in your childhood. Is that something that you were really interested in? Uh, you, you mentioned a little while ago about comparing it to Batman and Robin. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I liked it when I was a kid, um, but mainly the original one. I didn't really care for part two as much. I know I like the Ninja Turtles toys. Um, what, Squally? Part two wasn't bad. Part three was the one where we went bad, when he started time traveling and shit. Which Why one was, was that Uzi? bad? Oh, man, time traveling one? Don't they leave, like, one of the turtles, like, back in time or something like that? And they come back, and they're like, oh, okay, one of our brothers is, like, gone. We're all happy now. And they, <laughs> Which one's the one where they're all like, dancing at the end? Oh, my uh, that that, That's Ninja Turtles 2. They, yeah, they, was, that's uh, part yeah. two. The okay. Ninja yeah. Rap. Hey, Spider-Man 3, he was dancing the same way as Ninja Turtles. Yeah, but they weren't singing their own damn turtle song. He wasn't. He wasn't like Spider Man. Spider Man. Like that was. It was bad. In Amazing Spider Man, he had the theme song on his phone. In Part Two, Amazing Spider Man Part Two, whenever he called him. That was more of an Easter egg than the nonsense in Ninja Turtles Two. Anyways, long story short, I like Ninja Turtles the show, the cartoon. I know I had a bunch of Ninja Turtles toys. I don't know why, but I wanted them. But I can't say I was like a big Ninja Turtles fan. 2003. Just, 2003. That was, that was a very good um, cartoon version of the Ninja Turtles. Oh, the one on Kids WB. Which one yep. do you prefer, Squally? The 2003 or the OG uh, 90s? I'm not going to remember. I don't remember the OG 90s off the top of my head, but I know 2003 and them had a crossover or something like that. A lot of the Ninja Turtle cartoon shows now, even the one they had in Nickelodeon, they like cross over with the 90s or the 80s or something like that. Really? Yeah, they always have like an episode where it's like the older ones and the newer ones and they cross over and they, in the style of the animation and stuff like that, they keep it like the ones in the 80s, like what we saw from like what spawned off of movies pretty much. Nostalgia absolutely sells and that's part of the reason why we're doing this show. It's just so fun to relive and merchandisers and, and companies know that. They capitalize on our nostalgia and as we you know become older and, and have kids, they're hoping that we pass down those memories to our kiddos. So let's hear from Woody. We finally got some guesses in in this one. Uh, Woody, what do you know about Ninja Turtles? Was this something you grew up with? I hate to be the rain cow, but I've never seen anything about Ninja Turtles. Wow. Ooh. How about that? Ne not I even figure a One of his guesses was gel of all things. <laughs> <laughs> he, he wanted a secret of the ooze gel on his head. Now it's sexual for me whenever he was like, oh, it's gel. Secret of Ooze. So confidently. It also like, reminded me of Power Rangers from the movie that came out. Um, what is it? Ivan Ooze? Ivan Ooze, I thought that's that, right. But you said Jim Henson in 1991. I think Power Rangers came out, what, 94, 95? What yes. was it cool for you guys? What about it was that sucked you into it? Power Rangers? I mean, Ninja Turtles? Literally, Turtles as ninjas. Like, what else? <laughs> well, what other explanation do you need? <laughs> they use, like, ninja, like, Weapons oh, yeah, they had weapons. Like, like, they had nunchucks and swords and katanas. And what did Donatello have? A stick? <laughs> Staff. A bow. There you go. Yeah. Um, the, the best part was it kind of started off as a parody or whatever like that. They were parodying Daredevil. Because, really? Yeah, but Ninja Turtles, well, they kind of have a whole thing like the the car where it crashes and you know, they spill like the chemicals in Matt Murdock's eyes or whatever like that. Makes them yeah. Laugh. The chemicals seep into like the, the sewers and it hits the turtles. And that's what's the same thing that makes them, you know, teenage mutant Ninja Turtles. 
They fight did the, the rat fight. adopt them? Was the rat already a rat, or did the rat adopt them as a normal rat? I think they changed it around rat. differently, where it's a rat who just becomes a rat, and he's fallen like his master, or it's like the master becomes a rat, or something like that. They they switch it a couple of times, but I know it's like they they fight the foot, and then Daredevil Daredevil fights the hand. Ah, so it was a parody or whatever like that of Daredevil. Whenever it was really big during the, I, I maybe whenever Matt Miller wrote it. I don't know. Frank Miller wrote it. Frank Miller. We do and know it, a lot. I didn't know about the foot thing. That's pretty cool. I like comic books. It's really sad. They're like soap operas. I mean, I like comic books too. I just never realized Ninja Turtles. I, I knew about the hand and mainly because I rewatched Daredevil on Netflix. So it refreshed my memory on the hand, but I never knew about the foot. Like, Yeah, it's a parody. Some, of it. Like Wade Wilson and Slade Wilson type parody. Well, it's like how the, the original Ninja Turtles, they didn't have like, they, were, they all were red. They didn't have like different colors or whatever like that they were like gritty they were just like murdering people and then they made the movie and it was just like oh look cowabunga pizza yeah so so back yeah, they to were... what the... channel the ninja turtles Go ahead. what channel yeah uh i, I mean... think a lot of them come out on nickelodeon and some of them came out on cartoon network a lot of those cartoons and stuff they bounce back and forth between the things like I say the original version was fox kids wasn't it back in the day yeah, well, I think the new one was too, wasn't it? Or was it was it Kids WB or Fox Kids? Yeah, I, think I used to have to switch kid, to watch all Kids the Kids WB was the 2003, and now it's on Nickelodeon. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I I did like the 2003. They had the guy from the American Pie voice Leonardo from one of the last ones that came out for Nickelodeon. Yeah, wow. the, the Kids WB the Kids WB one was cool. Nickelodeon always makes things kind of like shitty. I have seen that crossover though that Squally was talking about. That was pretty interesting. Uh, but in mentioning the the campiness of Ninja Turtles and, and comparing it to Batman and Robin, definitely it's it's just very very silly. And, and to look at it now with with the lenses of you know we're we're grown adults, it's it's like you can't believe that these concepts and ideas were produced and, and made and just really so successful. But for Woody, as Squally mentioned, it it just started off. Yes, as a parody, but very dark. And as a matter of fact, they are um, one of the original creators. I believe it's it's Kevin Eastman. He is coming out now with a new series called The Ronin, and it takes place 30 years in the future. It is um, supposedly like a, a cyberpunk story where some of the turtles have died and there is one turtle mysterious we don't know which turtle it is that that remains but he's carrying all of their weapons and he is the ronin he's exacting revenge so much darker take something that might interest you a little bit more woody oh yeah 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 ronin a samurai without a master I there you go there you go uh, but i want to thank you guys just traveling on the ninja turtles uh train there uh, certainly a lot of great iterations the Secret of the Ooze is iconic for the Vanilla Ice song at the very end. Uh, Toka and Razor, one of our clues today, that just absolutely frightening for me as a child to look at those because uh, they were just insane versions of this spiky turtle and this, this crazy wolf. Uh, but they're super innocent and, and kind-hearted. They, they weren't even real bad guys. It's just very frightening to look at back in the day. Uh, NECA has actually produced a really cool line of movie figures and coming out soon is the Toka and Razor two pack. So that's going to be pretty nice, but I want to thank you guys again. Uh, we have a reigning champion right here, minor niner back to back championships. It must feel nice. Uh, and just so you guys know at home, he's rooting for the Lakers as the recording of this video. They just lost a crucial game five. Hopefully they get that championship glory like uh, our very own minor niner. Uh, gentlemen, we will see you back for our third edition. Tune in next week and subscribe to Uncrate and Rate. This is Professor uh, Packrat. Peace out.